everyone. Back up in the valley, the bottom of the Trebius Hills. As you can see, fantastic day. A bit better than last time, only up here about nine, ten days ago. There's my sister again, dragged her back out. So, couldn't have been that bad. So, we're going to head up the valley, um, west, west up the valley. And then we're going to see what the weather's like. See if it's worth doing the TV at this time. I'm determined to do it, just to see how I've done it. It's one of them things that's bugging us now. Um, this would be the third time I've been up here. Uh, in the last two times I had to you know, decide that it wasn't to be. The weather wasn't that good. But it uh, looks beautiful today, but you can still see up there. That's where we were last time. We got up there, but still covered in cloud. The tree roots just on the back of these trees. You can't see it yet. So, hopefully the cloud will lift. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have a walk along here and uh, hopefully do the tree root, get some video as always. So keep watching. Yeah, so about eight or nine days ago, went up there, up the hedge hope. That was really nice. Um, and my plan was to go along the top, meet up with the Cheviot, but the weather was quite bad by the time I got up there, so we just came down back in the valley. So last time we came up right over the back of there, and came up from the other side of that hill and up and over, back down this way. So this time we're going to go along the valley and up to the right, to the Cheviot hopefully, if the weather doesn't turn. It's not forecast to. It's forecast to be a nice dry day. I think wind speed is about 7 or 8 miles an hour. Not like the 50, like last time. But uh, you know what it's like when you get up in these hills, the weather can't change. But, uh, you know, We'll just carry on at the minute, it's all good. So we'll just carry on. Always do the right thing as well, highway code, and make sure you fasten all the gates when you walk through them. Just a bit of respect for the local landowners and the animals that live here. Easy to do. So, yeah. And we'll go. I'm just going to try something with the camera, I don't know if it'll work but it's uh, I was thinking just like put the camera low level this is all it takes, the dog walking through the ferns so we'll give this a go, see what you think
Valley. All the way up. Um, Pat takes a little turn to the right. Come to the top, they meet this fence line. There's a little signpost for Cairn Hill, which is three miles up there. A bit of a steep climb now. And then uh, get on the top of that. And then it's a short walk along the top, I believe. So there's something to achieve yet. And we'll eventually get this bad boy tackled. Um, as you can see, a bit missed again. It's not that windy though, so it's just a bit misty. Keeps it a bit cool. So, uh, uh, my sister's up there somewhere in the fog. I'll just see ya. So, yeah, we'll continue on, but uh, so far, so good. Enjoying it. <laughs> Guess where we are? Oh yes, we're on the Treviad Summit, the highest mountain in the north of England. Done. Boom! where we were just about eight or nine days ago top of there that's when we called it a day and the weather was too bad to go to the yet. and there's uh there's the valley we're heading back down there now and uh, a few more hills so yeah loving it loving the views in between the clouds it's all downhill from here to say let's carry on now um, just descending all the time. Obviously, we were quite high up. That's the views we're getting now underneath the cloud line. So, down there where the trees are, that's where we've parked the car. So, obviously, we went up the valley and then, what you can't see now, up and on the tree yet. There's hedge up in the clouds. So, yeah, so we're just going to follow this track down, basically, all the way down, all the way down the woods, get back the car have a hot drink or something, get warm and head home. It's been really good. Um, I've wanted to do the Cheviot for some years now. I did try a couple of years ago. Came up the hardest path, I think, if I tried to. Um, and I was nowhere near physically fit enough. I probably experienced enough. Um, I got halfway up and just, I was knackered. And I just thought this is ridiculous, I'm gonna have to turn back. So I was absolutely gutted. And then obviously last week I came up with the intention to get up the Cheviot via the hedge rope, but the weather was too bad, so I had to be sensible and say, you know, enough's enough, head back down, safety first. But so glad, come back again today, 
and the weather was on our side a bit and we've done it um so yeah i've been wanting to do it quite a while it's on my bucket list so to speak actually i'm doing quite well so bucket list wild camping done that this weekend bucket list achieve it i've now done that this weekend or this week so yeah so i think next on my bucket list is the great glen way really want to do that just something that appeals to us um, and then possibly head down to Lake District and get a couple of them peaks under my belt just you know see the scenery because it is a truly beautiful place down there but yeah but um yeah two off the list this this week um, and then possibly start planning the next one we'll have to keep watching to find out what that's going to be won't you <laughs> anyway but yeah so we'll head back down get some more shots um, as you see, it's just a nice, nice path now, just all the way up the car. It's a whole downhill. Right, we've just got back to the car and it started to rain, so missed the worst of the weather, so that's the result. And uh, yeah, very good, job done. So if you like the video, as always, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I've got uh, quite a few subscriptions gone up now, so it's obviously working what I'm doing. So long may it continue and I'll keep doing it. So. Yeah, till the next adventure. Take care.